So the next thing I want to talk about is the DCS preferences. So I, I will show you how the search and, and the new layout look like. And then I will look through a few things that are part of the preferences. Few because there's more than that and I don't want to go through everything. It will take too long. So going to preferences, as you probably guys noticed, it has a new format, a new uh, layout. And for every single word that it's listed in, in this uh, field here, for all of the entries, you can search. So let's say I want to search for tolerance, for example. Once I type in the word tolerance here, it lists for me every category uh, and, and subcategory that has the word tolerance in it and you can go to it and if you see when I'm clicking on everything a description for each of these entries is shown in here to help you uh, understand what they are it's it's a it's a quick um, quick and nice information about each feature so if I get rid of this entry I'm going back to the initial format and uh, the one thing uh, you want to remember is the model settings. So everything that is, every entry that is here on the model settings and you change it, it will be remembered with the model. We grouped these because we realized that the certain things are important for the user to, to transfer with the model. So they will be saved from now on with your model. Um, I'm gonna go through uh, a few of those items that I was talking about. So now user can add units to show in the results, meaning you can show units for volume, area or length in your simulation results. And they are under analysis and show units so uh, basically if you go analysis and show units if you check this little box here it will put the units in if you don't uh, they won't be displayed that's one nice thing to see in the results uh, we did rename the minimum segment number as mesh density to be easier to to find and and understand and it's under um let me see i lost it there it is under the general so by default the mesh density is zero meaning we don't make it denser than it comes but you can change this number to whatever you want and then uh, in this case you would update uh, model and update geometry and then it will change the density of the mesh that you already have created on your features to whatever uh, value you put in there. So that's the new, uh, a little name change. We added settings in the preferences to hide show warnings. Some people don't want the warnings to be shown. It's, it may be too much. So I'm sorry, going back to this, they're on the validation and report warnings in validation. So I'm going to go to the settings and they're right here. You check them. And also, um, all of these are the defaults that we are all used to. They're still there. Um, and the, I, I don't think I need to mention, but the reset all defaults and the reset setting on this page, whatever changes you make, if you're not comfortable and don't remember where you were, you just use these buttons to go back. Another thing is we added the Japanese industrial standards along with uh, the other, um, let me show you. So it's, it's, it's actually under the model settings something that the user will set uh, when they start doing their model. So we had ASME and we had ISO and now we had also the Japanese standard that if you, you, you can work under and apply your uh, GNT based on that standard. 
another thing that I find uh, very useful the right click on feature to change direction so if I don't know how many of you remember uh, or used it before if you wanted to change the direction of a feature for example in uh, turn lamp let's say my trim edge it shows the vector this way initially you had to go to feature points dialog create a point or switch the direction of a point right now we made it so you just right click on the exact on that feature and say switch direction and it flips it for you it's a uh, one click very easy very very convenient and um, Gary talked about a bunch of DLLs. I have one more that I want to bring in. Uh, we call it center scale. And it uh, deals with thermal shrinkage and warping. Basically, it takes, let's say, the top surface of this cube and it can shrink it and, and expand it based on some inputs. This uh, DLL, it's part of the X form. And if you want to get more information, we can send you an example model and you can find the detailed information in the help file.